There we go. And I need one more iguana. Uh, let's see, iguanas. Where are they? Ocelot. Oh shit, why did I do that? Seriously, why did I do that? Yeah, no shit cat in the water. But I forgot to get something important. <laughs> oh god, that feel stupid. What, huh? Got iguana. Why is an iguana? There we go. Got it. Let's get this one as well, and let me get the synchronization one. Progress an iguana. Craft a new holster. God, there's so many of them. <laughs> no, I don't want that one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah. These are actually awesome, but I'm not gonna do that. Pistol sets. Oh, wait, what did I need to do? Craft a new holster. And a health upgrade. I don't see them where I can. Oh, crafting. Holster, confirm, and health. Yes. I wanna synchronize, so let me get up here. Not much to synchronize with, but you know, it's not better than nothing. I guess. Ah, let's see anything else around this island. Oh, there are a lot of. Ooh, what's that? I see a map. What is this? Find treasure maps and explore cut the others. They will lead you to a specific place on an island. Dig there and you might find money or plans to upgrade your ship. Use to select the map and to open them. The coordinates will lead you into the location and the image will help you find the right spot. Okay. It's somewhere near a big rock. Wait, is it on this island? Yeah, I see a bottle there in the water.
Of my employer I must say something, for it was owing to his connections that I came to find such troubled feelings. Peter Beckford for, was a man of great charisma and pride. In 1662, he had came to Jamaica, and just ten years, in just ten years, had fast procured himself a sizable portion of land, which he sold with cane as early as he was able to. Upon my coming into his orbit, he owned, claimed all about him, one of the largest private holdings of the land in all the world, reveling only kings and emperors for his largest. His, uh, the same surplus applied to a number of slaves and his employee. Whereas he had arrived in Jamaica with a complement of three, he now owned the better part of three hundred. A shred and breathless man of business, Mr. Beckford was known also be subservient to a templar of cyclonic power, wrought in fury and enmity, were his primary means of settling arguments that could not be concluded in Mr. Beckford's immediate favor. He was, however, always kind to me and as gracious man, and as gracious a man as one could hope an employer to be. But this I put down to my status as an eye. He was a traditional man with a respect for rank and breeding. In earlier times, times with it, why, really, whatever, he had been the governor, the factor of the island. And though a statement no longer upon my arrival, he still bore all the signs of a man who felt in his nature duty to lead. Further, his political connections he valued as deeply as his sugar and the money it brought him, and it was in his capacity following the arrival of a Spanish soldier that I met a man that I met the man who would change my life for the worse forever. A young man named Loreno Torres. <laughs> Huh. Shanties. Oh, do my Johnny Poker, Gum Rock, and Roll. Yeah, I'm not gonna sing. I suck at singing. Not people I want. Not. Nah. But that was actually interesting to read, to be honest. I somehow need to find... Uh, no, wrong. Um, actually, hold on, let me take a look at the map. So right there, in this big-ass ocean. Mm, looking around. Looking around, looking around. No. Treasure map. Seven, seven hundred eight forty nine. Where do I see the coordinates? For fuck's sake! I don't know where the hell I could see the coordinates, but hell, screw it. Let's go aboard the ship. I almost stepped on a small little crab. Am I gonna go to hell? Yeah, yeah, I know. I could have took a boat, but I love my boat, my ship. Uh, let's climb up, people. Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But they'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You find no civilization in NASA, but it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, I know I got a hundred. Finally.
Actually, you know, this is the second time if I'm right. Oh no. Multiple stress? Why multiple times? This is good to change shoots. Okay. Get the main right. into the wind! Fire! Oh shit. Reload! Won't miss next time! We're ready, sir! Good for you, let me take a look at the map. I see a question mark right about here. Legend. The hell is a question mark? I don't see the question mark. That kind of pisses me off. But well, not pisses me off, confuses me. Ruins, undiscovered locations. Oh, okay. Uh, let's set marker there. How far would that be from our main destination? Well, not pretty far away, but I think we can take a detour, guys. What do you guys think? Holy shit, how many of there are there? Okay, never mind. I don't want to set that anymore. Let's see. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go to our main quest. Wait, can I remove that goddamn marker? What the hell? There we go. Oh fuck! Yeah, I had that coming. I didn't see this. Uh, let's see. I should probably slow her down a little. Try and saw yes. Captain Queer Nubs, tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy, oh, back to your master. Aye, we was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. I think I'll take a break here guys but as always I'll see you into the next video until then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe it really helps the channel grow and help me bring you more entertaining guys so until then bye bye